hello hello and hello so if you are new to my channel please do not get forget to like comment share and subscribe my name is amelia and today's another review video this time is someone i did not expect someone that's been quiet and there's the same the quiet ones are the sneaky ones the quiet ones they surprise you and the reason why I said she was quiet and I really heard nothing from her is it's because she's not she really wasn't exposing her own self until she made this statement until she made this statement of who she wanted to be like she wasn't like Kurt Franklin not too long ago who I'm going to review later later on in another video about there's a disconnect between hip hop and gospel music there's supposed to be a disconnect we're supposed to be a peculiar people followers of Christ we're supposed to be peculiar people and as I was on my way back, I was thinking about the peculiar people that God has brought into my life. Some journey home, some are still here. This young lady I'm about to rebuke is none other than Kiki Sherrod. Kiara Sherrod. And I was really, really shocked when I um, heard from another prophet and his wife what Kiki said who she inspired to be like Kiki inspired to be like Beyonce she said she idolized and look up to Beyonce she just wants to be like Beyonce I got a problem with that Kiki you shouldn't want to be like anybody that's promoting darkness and associating yourself with people that are producing fruits of darkness. Why would you, a woman, who your mother, your own mother, who was a gospel artist herself. I'm going to say something about them too. I am. Because your auntie is actually defending Beyonce and not even calling her out. And she's supposed to be an apostle, an evangelist. Come on. Come on. We, as the body of Christ, we need to expose the darkness that's going on in the world and whatnot. Your own mother at one point in time, Kiki, said, you, she and her father, she and your, um, your father, they were both thankful to raise a daughter who loved the Lord. And you gonna slap the Lord in the face by saying, you wanna be like Beyonce? You aspire to be like Beyonce. We got some problem. We got some problem. We got a problem. I'm going to say this one more time. We. We got a problem. Me and you. We, 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 there's a problem. We, got, we have a problem. Why would you want to inspire yourself to be like someone that said, I use, I wipe my menses with the holy book. That's disrespectful. That's demonic. That's even disgusting. Because me, I wouldn't do that. Because whenever my time of the month comes, I, and I mean I, I just want to hide. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I really want to hide until I know it's gone, and that means I'm clean. Because the time of the month, that's uncleanness right there. You, ooh. Y'all didn't read your words. The Bible's very spiritual. You releasing, oh, some of y'all move swings? Demonic. Spirits, okay? That's what that menstrual's for. I hate the stuff we go through with it. The cramps and the headaches, the, the cravings that we don't really need, but we want them. Why would you look up to someone that's being used by the Jezebel spirit to seduce men and have them turn to Unox. I don't know if she have turned them exactly, exactly, but she's making them into an Unox. And the Unox is a man 
that does not have a penis. Why would you aspire to be like somebody like that? And she's telling young women. She used the song that your auntie once had. And sampled that. And tell little church girls. Older church girls too. To turn themselves to Jezebels. That's a problem. That is a problem. That is a problem. Kiki, I thought you were better than that. I really did. I was like, I don't hear anything about Kiki. But I knew it was going to come because the Christian, the gospel community, gospel music community, y'all acting out. And it's time to choose this day whom ye shall serve. As a gospel artist, matter of fact, I'm going to tell you something else. You and Nick Cannon got collaborated on the song, No Weapons for Me. No weapons. You could have used your gift right then and there and minister to that young fella and tell him what he's doing is wrong. He was once married. Only two of his children are covered. They're covered because he found a wife at that time. And him and his wife, what they did, they made it. They had children in wedlock. Now he's a divorced free man. He's making a baby here. He's making a baby there. He's making babies everywhere. You could have just been like, hey, Nick, what you're doing is wrong. You're not married, and yet you're creating more kids outside of wedlock. Outside of wedlock. We got some problems. Yet you can see him, but you, you couldn't minister to him. Couldn't minister to him. Couldn't. You couldn't use your gift to minister to him. Because I'm sure he was going through something else at that time, too. But you couldn't use your gift. As a Christian, as a gospel artist, let me say this. Your music is your ministry. You shouldn't want to be striving all the way to the top and all that. No, 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 no. Allow the Lord to exalt you. But you have to be humble to be exalted. Because if you're exalted already, he's going to humble you. He's going to bring it back. He'll be like, uh-uh, 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 daughter. Come back down. Come back down. You must remain humble at all times. Beyonce is not humble. And she is not hiding whom she really serves. She doesn't serve the God I serve. She doesn't serve the Lord you love. Your, your mother claimed you love. She's, you, she's not. In her music, she calls it creativity. If it's creativity, why is it trancing people? I'm a creative artist myself. I don't sing, but I write. But I be careful about what I promote in my writing, what I put in my writing. Because how can I say I'm a Christian romance author and I'm promoting fornication? That's a problem. That's a whole problem right there. Like I said, my characters, they get down to nasty honeymoon night, okay? But it's time for the gospel community to come back to their first love. It's time for y'all to repent. Kiki, it's time for you to repent. Time is winding up. It's running out. It's time for you to repent. For the kingdom of God is near. It's at hand right now. Tomorrow ain't promised to nobody. You have to repent. Your music, your gift that God gave you, that should be your ministry. You shouldn't be having to seek aspirations to be like a secular artist who's leading souls. She's leading so many souls to hell and not even going to realize one day she's going to have a lot of blood on her hand. If she does not repent, if she does not come out of this darkness that she's practicing, because witchcraft is real, Kiki. And you aspire to be like someone with the spirit of Jezebel. Spirit of Jezebel. God hates Jezebel, Kiki. He hates Jezebel. He 
He hates Jezebel. Hates Jezebel. It's time for you to repent. It's time for you to repent. And I mean repent with your whole heart, mind, and soul. Your whole heart, mind, and soul. It's time for you to come back to your first love. Your own mother said you loved the Lord. Your own mother said that. How I know I watched her said it. I I watched her said it on Bobby Jones Gospel. I watched her say it. I watched her said it. I watched her. And I heard it. I didn't want to use my gift until almost 10 years ago to uplift the kingdom of God. It's time, and I mean, it's time to choose this day whom you shall serve. You shouldn't aspire. You shouldn't aspire. You know what you should do? You should aspire to be Christ-like in your walk daily. Because I know that's what I'm striving for. Yes, there's some things he got to work on in me. But you have to realize, we in the gospel community we do not we do not I should say gospel arts because singing is arts what I do is writing is arts but what I'm going to say is this we don't need validation from anyone the only validation we need the only opinion that matters the only person that we should be seeking true true validation from is none other than Jesus Christ himself. That is who we shall seek on a day-to-day basis, in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. We should be seeking him. We should be seeking him. You shouldn't aspire to be like somebody. And I mean, aspire to be like somebody that is leading souls to hell. And it's so deep. She's so deep into it. I'm like, you could, you could just say your mama. You could have said your mama. Matter of fact, God allowed your mother and aunts to pave the way for you to sing. As well, God gave you that gift too. Your music is your ministry. Don't, don't. Don't jeopardize your ministry just to be like a demonic, someone that's under a demonic influence. I have to be careful what I say because there's still hope for Beyonce. There is still hope for her. There's still hope for all of these celebrities that need to come to Jesus. There's hope. There's still hope. The time is ticking and it's winding out. We don't know the hour, the minute, the second that Jesus is going to come back. We don't. So it's time for you. It is time for you to repent, Kiki. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent for tomorrow is not promised. I need you to repent, please. Repent. Repent. You shouldn't I know I say the same things over and over, and I'm going to continue to say them until I'm blue in the face. Because I struggled with this. I struggled with this. I ain't going to lie. I struggled with this. I refuse to be like worldly people, though. I struggled with it. I did. But now I'm like, it's time to truly, truly seek the Lord. It's time. Because this season is not the time to play. It's not the time to play. It's not the time to have one foot inside the kingdom and have another foot outside in the world. It's time to choose this day whom ye shall serve. It's time to choose. This day whom ye shall serve.
I'm going to say it one more time. It's time to choose this day whom ye shall serve. Time. It's time. Time, time is winding up. We ain't got forever. Make that choice today before it's too late. Please repent. Please repent. Please repent. Please repent. So anyone that's a fan of Kiki Share or any of the people that I have rebuked, I do permit you all to share my videos. Because at the end of the day, this needs to get out to them. They need to repent. They need to come to Jesus. They need to come to their friends. Matter of fact, they used to be on fire for the Lord. What happened? Are y'all afraid of getting canceled? Are y'all afraid of getting canceled? Because I get canceled all the time. But God still provides for me. I get canceled all the time for speaking out against the dark agenda of the Antichrist. I even got canceled for speaking out against Beyonce. So it does not bother me. Yeah, I'm still using my gift. The right people, they're going to come along. Excuse me, y'all. Had all this. The right people, they're going to come along. But we shouldn't be seeking man's approval. It's about us completing and doing the task that God has appointed us to do at hand. Are we going to be cowards or are we going to be bold and courageous and slay against the giant with the word of God? The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. They're not speaking this inside these buildings they call churches. They're not doing that. No, 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 no. They don't want to, the ones in the pulpits, they don't want to offend anybody. They want to make it about themselves with these, these designer clothes and whatnot. These material things, wealth, blessings, all this other stuff, it's okay to have that. But those things are not going to get you inside the kingdom. What's going to get you inside the kingdom is a relationship with Christ. That's what's going to get you inside the kingdom. That is what's going to get you inside the kingdom. And I mean, that is what's going to get you inside the kingdom kingdom because many y'all sitting inside these buildings and is receiving the same wrong answer you're gonna be at the gate trying to get in lord um you know i went to church every sunday i fasted and uh we took in communion we a lot of kids to do this and do that they're gonna be like i still didn't know you bye depart from me i never knew you and it's still sad people would take two days out of the week just to treat God like he's the side dude. And come to him when things are going wrong. When God made seven days. Seven days. For us to seek him. For us to pray to him. For us to come to him with our whole heart, minds, and soul. Yet people still want to treat him like the side dude. I refuse. Because I need him every day. I don't know about y'all, but I need him every day. Because, like I said, they're not speaking on this stuff. They're not. They want y'all to focus on what he can give you. Okay. But, but what about his wrath? God has wrath, too. God has wrath, too. Because I'm going to tell y'all something. God, ain't, God did not even want me to rest. I, I mean, I was trying to be up thinking that the interview was today. Not my interview fellow Christian author seeing you. Just looking at up, kept going to sleep. It wasn't today, it was wasn't this morning, but it's gonna be tomorrow's morning when I'm watching. Um fell asleep. Yeah, that wind was so rough. I'm thinking the tent about to fall. And I just kept whenever I, I wouldn't sleep like an hour or so each time just waking up. I like that's it. I say I'm going to the bathroom. I'm going to pray. And I've been said I was gonna make a video to rebuke Kiki, but <laughs> it never did. And I still gotta do Kurt Franklin. I still gotta do him. I still gotta rebuke him too, cause his lukewarmness is all over the place. 
it's all over the place and it's being spread in mountains and when i mean mountains i'm talking about mindsets it's being spread seeds and all that being spread Uh uh-uh y'all don't become lukewarm please do not become lukewarm i suffer from that i will say from time got saved all the way to 2019 2020 i had to come into full repentance i had to because I was not going to miss out on heaven, going to hell for people that I know that didn't care about me. I ain't going to hell for nobody. You shouldn't want to go to hell for nobody either. You, matter of fact, you should not even want to go to hell. When was the last time you sat in church and they spoke about hell? Answer me that. Answer me that. I'm going to say it one more time. When was the last time you went to church and you received a soul-convicted sermon on hell? Tell me that. They, they ain't speaking on that either. They're not speaking on this stuff. Unrepentant sins don't get inside the kingdom. Unrepentant sins do not get inside the kingdom. Don't get inside the kingdom. Do not get inside the kingdom. No, 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 no. Too busy worrying about money, but not what's keeping souls bound in chains. People can be dealing with depression, anxiety, suicidal ideation, um, soul ties, adultery, fornication, lust, wrath, all envy, all this stuff that's keeping them bound from being set free. Yeah, you worrying about what's in their pocket. You don't know what they're dealing with. You don't know what bills they got coming up. You don't know if they're struggling to keep food on the table. You don't know that. And how dare you, raving, um, greedy wolves, keep robbing from the flock, keep robbing from the poor. Uh, because you want to keep up your lavish lifestyle. Get you a business if you want that. But don't mix it with God's business of saving souls. Don't. I'm sorry I got quiet. I shouldn't apologize for being quiet, but I told the Lord to increase so I can decrease. I said that tonight before I did this video because it's not about me. I use my channel to uplift the kingdom of God. Same way I'm going to be doing for my um, Instagram too. I don't want nobody to fall. There's too many souls that need to be saved. Too many souls that need to be saved. Too many souls that are lost. But I have to realize that everybody is going to be saved. Not everybody want to be saved. Because once you become saved, here's the thing. You're going to have to give up certain things, certain people. Because certain things and certain people, they can keep you out the kingdom too. Soul ties. Certain family members, they can do that too. I don't care how much you love them. Let them go. 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 Because I had to give up certain things. I had to. I had to give up certain things. I ain't gonna lie. I had to give up certain things. Had to give up certain things. Had to. Had to give up certain things. So if you or someone you know does not have Christ and would 
love to accept Christ as your Lord and Savior. Do it now while you have the chance. Don't wait until tomorrow. Excuse my voice, y'all. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm dealing with right now. <clears throat> but I'm going to be all right. Um, do it right now while you have the chance. Come to him as you are. Don't try to clean yourself. A lot of times we try to... We see when someone says, come to Christ, we be like, okay, I got to make sure I'm clean and all that. I got to make sure I'm right. No. 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 And no. I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm trying not to cry either. I'm trying not to cry because real prophets, I see this all the time. We weep. We weep. Real prophets weep. Anywho. Oh. Holy Spirit, he's just having his way, y'all. He's having his way with me right now. Yes, Holy Spirit. I can't remember what I was going to say, y'all. But I just needed that moment. I just really needed that moment. <sighs> but it's time, y'all. It is time to choose this day whom ye shall serve. Kiki, I pray this video reaches you. It's time to repent. It's time to repent. It's time to repent. I'm going to say it one more time. It is time to repent. God's not playing. This is the season. The wheat and the tear. The wheat and the tear are going to be separated. The wheat and the tear are going to be separated. So you need to stand firm and choose this day whom he shall serve. It's time. It's time. No more playing games. It's time. It is time. It's time. It's time. It's time. So this is going to be my the end of the video. So may God continue to keep you all. May he bless you all. Be blessed. Um, do not forget to email me if you are interested as well. Um, yes, do not forget to email me if you are interested in a word of encouragement. I'm not one of them. Y'all. When I get words of encouragement, there is no charge. Because like I said, the word of God is free. It is free. The word of God is free. It is free. It is free. It's free. It's free. Because the seed is the word of God. The word is the seed. Not money. No. Quit allowing these old so called pastors. I'm going to say that. To manipulate you. All right. Quit allowing that. 
So may God continue to keep you all. May he bless you all. Be blessed.